guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video this is the video i've been most excited for for a long time it is my first probably of many autumn homeware hauls this year and i'm so excited because i've actually kind of got an accumulation of loads of different brands within this video we've got luxury we've got a bit of budget we've got sainsbury's and home bargains over there but yeah we've got white company Oliver Bonus, Anthropology, and more. So it's probably gonna be a long one, so make sure you've got yourself a nice cozy drink. Can you see the steam coming off my coffee? Oh, feeling all the cozy vibes right now. It is tipping it down outside. I'm in my loungewear from Lounge. This is like the um, three piece that they do with the matching bralette, joggers, and sweatshirts. I'm feeling all the cozy vibes, and I hope you guys are too, and if not, then hopefully by the end of this video, you will. So make sure if you're not already, please do stick around and subscribe. So let's get into this haul because I have a lot to show you guys. Oh, how can I start a homeware haul without lighting the candle? One second. Woo. Yes. Autumn has now arrived. So I'll be honest, when I think of autumn homeware related content, I do, my mind goes straight to HomeSense, HomeSense and TK Maxx, and I did really want to get my hands on a couple of pumpkin candles to throw in within this video. However, at the time of shopping for this video, I did think that the candle selection that they had was just like the taster, it wasn't the real good ones. So I am going to wait, plus our new house is in an area with three, no, I tell a lie four home sensors within 20 minutes. The future of this channel is gonna be a lot of home sense and TK Maxx. So I've decided I'm gonna save that for a full dedicated home sense and TK Maxx come shopping with me. Stay tuned for that video. Okay, I'm gonna start with home bargains first. Ooh, we love a home bargain tour. Um, but yeah, I just picked up a few things. This is probably the least autumnal item that I've got of the entire haul. So let's just get this one out of the way. Febreze have brought out a limited edition air freshener, air mist in Santorini Sea Breeze, which smells amazing. It's really fresh. It's not too florally and summery. It's definitely a nice fresh smell. I feel like linen smells are always good, but they, I quite like them just upstairs, like in the bedroom. So this is a nice all rounder. We're gonna move on from this one because it's not autumnal. It was $1.99, that Febreze spray, and I'm gonna be keeping my eyes peeled for more of the wintry ones as they come out. So, the next item that I got is this cute mug, which just screams cozy vibes to me. PJs all day, it says on it, and it was £1.29. So, I picked this one up. I quite like the font of it as well, and anything that screams coziness like this, to me, is just perfect for this time of year. So, bargain as well. Okay, and then the last thing that I got from Home Bargains is a selection of wax melts. Ah! Dropped one. <laughs> wax melts and votives from Yankee Candle in the seasonal scents. I'm going to read them out. Prepare yourself. These are 79p each, which is a mega, mega bargain. Love this one. I think it's actually my favourite because it's grey as well. Love that. And this is in Crackling Wood Fire. Amazing. And how nice is that image? Perfect for this time of year. Then we've got a red one, which is called after sledding this one's definitely more christmasy these three are definitely more christmasy as well we've got winter wonder um icy blue spruce and then this one is frosted holly and then these three are definitely better suited to autumn especially with the colors as well so we've got cinnamon stick here love cinnamon sugar and spice yum and then golden chestnut i love these i also love the fact that they're so affordable and they allow you you know they give you a chance to try them out without having to buy the full size version plus i've got <sighs> hair <everywhere. laughs> plus as you guys know i'm a neutral lover i don't like the big 
bold colours that Yankee Candle do. So these allow me to put them in like a votive holder and not have the like colour of them on show if that makes any sense. Okay moving on to Sainsbury's now. The main reason I went in was for two things actually. The first one being the new Zaflora which they have brought out in rhubarb and bergamot. Amazing. They also have another one that I'm keeping my eyes peeled for that they recently brought out called Fig and Cedar. I know you could just buy them on line but for me that defeats the purpose of like there's a flora treasure hunt do you know what I mean going out and when you find a new scent it's just all the more exciting the fact that you've managed to find it and it says rhubarb and bergamot is an energetic fusion of sweet rhubarb green citrus fruits combined with hints of rose on a base of musks and wood lovely i'm so excited to use that one and then the other reason why i went in a few of you sent me pictures of these new nescafe coffees and said that i would like them so i managed to hunt them down and they are in cinnamon bun flavor yum and i haven't seen these anywhere else so i do think you need to go to sainsbury's to try and find these ones whilst i was in there i also stocked up on some diet ginger beer i am obsessed with this at the minute it's taken over my obsession of diet coke and i now like diet ginger beer so if you like that gingery spicy kind of flavor you will love ginger beer oh i forgot about these i got a new snack which i hope i'm gonna like it's like a breakfast on the go porridge to go uh, from Quakers in cinnamon flavour. I'm not a fan of porridge, so this is the same amount of oats as a bowl of porridge, but it's in like a flapjack form. So yeah, I think I'm going to really like them. And then I did also pick up some tea from Pucker in the flavour wild apple and cinnamon. Oh, And that is everything that I got from Sainsbury's. Okay, let's stick with the theme of coffee for now. And I got a delivery from a company I've never ordered from before, but have seen all over Instagram. And they are called Halo. They have very kindly sent me these. Oh my God, they smell amazing. So they are Nespresso compatible pods, capsules, that I've got two different flavors of. The white one is the decaf form and then these ones are i think they're the honduras yeah honduras single origin ones which have hints of walnuts milk chocolate and malt yummy they're a really good sustainable brand with 100 percent biodegradable and compostable packaging which is amazing but i also love the look of them so you guys if you know me you'll know that these are just a bit of me so the little pods are in this white kind of cardboard packaging which is so my aesthetic so much so that this bowl of goodness which sits next to our Nespresso machine obviously has a variety of colored pods in there I did at one point just have them all gold and black I started buying the Starbucks ones and they are delicious but they're purple, they're green, they're blue, they're all sorts of colours. So I might have another container for these to put away in the cupboard and then fill this, which sits out on display, with all of my new white Halo coffee pods. Okay, next up I'm going to show you a real treat because... As the seasons change, more so as we get towards autumn and winter, I like to treat myself on a White Company candle and a Jo Malone candle. So I have a whole White Company box to unbox with you, but I do also have a Jo Malone candle. Now this is actually from a brand called Amara, who I have previously worked with, and they are an amazing online retailer that sell loads of different branded homeware items. They're obviously a stockist of Jo Malone as well. And I managed to pick up this scent, which I think is quite hard to get your hands on. So I was so happy that I managed to get this. It is in the scent incense and embers look at that black bow oh the black bow of beauty so much so that i don't even want to take off the packaging i love jo malone candles so much i love the cream the gold the black aesthetic very my style and what's more this scent is so perfect for this season it smells like a log burner it's a bit like the white company fireside it's like that real smoky in fact it's like this one this one's from rituals in holy smoke so if you like that smoky musky incense and ember smell i'll leave a link to this below in fact i'll leave a link to the things that i can 
below in the description box if you did want to shop any of these items yourself. <sighs> Treat yourself. It's autumn. It's the best time of the year. And what's better than an autumnal candle? This is why I want to stock up on some autumn candles from Home Sense because time of year to burn loads of candles anyway moving on to the white company now just a little heads up i got my autumn brochure in the post recently so if you have missed any of my white company dupes videos i preach to you guys that if you want a white company aesthetic for free then all you need to do is sign up to their online brochures and they send them out every season or whenever they've got offers running or whatever so the one that came recently is called simple pleasures and it also came with an additional little brochure for the Autumn Layers New Neutrals Cashmere Fashion. So that is just fashion, that one. But yeah, this has all the new Autumn scents, the inspo pictures and everything like that. So you can see what's new in. Oh, in fact, I think they've restocked their room diffusers so that you put the essential oils in. My mum has this. It's really good. Not only do they send you the brochures, they also, oh God, look, Christmas one from last year. They do also, every once in a while, send you discount codes. So I received a 15% off discount code in the mail, which I used. <laughs> I did also opt for the gift wrapping option, so that means that at an additional five pounds, you get given a gift box. And because I ordered quite a few things, this is the size of the gift box, which I love. It's like for a fiver, you're getting essentially a big storage box, which is branded the White Company. Da -da -da -da. Here it is with the little bow as well, which I just think is so beautiful. Oh, in fact, let me show you. Yes, they're in here. Do you remember when I picked these ones up from the Trafford Centre in the sale? Well, they're all tundles, so I can get them out again this, this, this time. I can now get them out. So they're cute little pumpkins that they did last year, these little felt pumpkins. Oh my God, adorable. They could be little hanging decorations, or you could put them as like table place settings. Um, so you get a bag of six, they are 15 pounds full price, but I got these in the sale for four pound 50, I think it was. But this year they've brought out little mini felt pears. So obviously they're still full price at 15, so I might wait until they go into the sale post autumn and then use them next autumn. Whilst I got these, I also got this um, big bag of fir tree potpourri, which they sell X display items at bargain price points in the Trafford Centre so check it out if you haven't already I didn't even know that until recently I got this whole bag for eight pounds and I've got some of the fir tree scented oil so you just pop a bit of that on there to sort of give it a fresher smell the reason why I was showing you those felt pumpkins is because they now have ceramic pumpkins now I think these would look good if you bought lots of them and scattered them so that they are more of a feature than this one little baby pumpkin. I just feel like surely Poundland can come up with a dupe of that, surely. Poundland, if you're watching, take note of the white company. Or Home Bargains or something like that. I did get some of this um, Love Fabric Ribbon. I think this was in the sale when I picked this up, um, but full price, it's six pounds anyway, so it's still a bargain. Good for gift wrap, and I've got some grey wrapping paper from the White Company, which I got in the sales in January, I think it was, so I've got that away for this Christmas, and this will go nicely on top of that. Like I said, I always like to treat myself to a seasonal candle from the White Company, and I have gone for autumn. I love the winter scent, I love the fireside scent, so the autumn one has pear, quince, and amber, so it's a bit more fruity. It says it's inspired by afternoons spent picking fruits from the orchard to bake seasonal desserts. The crisp combination of fruity notes of pear, quince and apricot blends with musk and amber for a rich, sweet fragrance. So I just got the little baby one at £20 rather than going all out at the big ones at 60 for now anyway. And then the most autumnal thing I picked up probably was this, this wreath. It's beautiful. It actually it actually smells really nice as well. It's smaller than what I thought it was going to be. That's not to say I don't like it, but it was I think it was 38 pounds and then with my 15% off, it just makes it I just don't know is that a lot for that? Either way, I do love it. 
so I'm just gonna pop that one away for now and think about that but I suppose that one benefit to that is that this bigger order has allowed me to get a bigger gift box for a fiver so either way I'm winning Okay, that is the White Company. Let's show you the bits that I got from Oliver Bonus before Anthropology, and then I think that completes this haul. So, Oliver Bonus, love Oliver Bonus. We have a really nice store in Manchester. Um, it is quite a colourful brand for me, so, you know, rarely do I ever buy anything from there, but I have spotted a few sale finds and <sighs> seasonal kind of finds that I wanted to pick up and share with you. So, first things first, Oh, this was a sale find. It's a little ring holder. So obviously, as you can tell, I wear layered gold jewelry and I thought this would be so cute. It's a letter F, if you can't really tell. Um, so cute as a little ring holder for at night time. These are the main three that I wear, but I do have a couple more that I like to wear on a regular basis. And you can just stack them on there you could pop them in the little tray on the bottom it is marble and gold full price is 12 pounds that's quite a lot for that but i got it in the sale for i think it was three pounds so not too bad pretty good bargain if i do say so myself oh these i'm so excited for okay i actually need have i got something that i can use i can't remember if i ordered anything or if i need to pick up something like a little tray or holder for this but they are a little pot of incense cones so they're only four pounds bargain and they're in the scent white lavender and if i just take off the lid and show you what they look like oh, so nice they are little incense cones and i love burning incense so essentially if you have a little marble dish or bowl or something that you pop one of those in light it blow it out and it just incense aromas flood your room with amazing smells in this case white lavender so i think this would be nice in the bedroom i also picked up two sets of their black reed diffusers just to replace natural ones like on the cheaper aldi ones sometimes they have natural or is it little i think they're about two pound each so not too bad oh yeah more incense i forgot about this so i picked up this set of four different incense scents they are 10 pounds i can't remember if i got these in the sale or not but the sticker says 10. the four scents that are included are coconut and lime this one i'm most excited for sage jungle blossom and lavender and eucalyptus that would be really nice as well again for the bedroom so this is the season for cheeses breads and good a fresh sourdough bread or some kind of soft white bread with balsamic and olive oil is one probably my favorite thing to eat savory wise it was 15 pounds and essentially you've got the amber glass in the middle to put the balsamic in love that and then last but not least from oliver bonus i got a gold mirrored tray because again i think this was a sale find and i thought this would look really nice with either a little display of a new Jo Malone candle or some kind of little mini book with a candle on top or even a little perfume display tray. Loads of ways you can use one of these. I feel like if you've got an area that has a couple of bits, by popping them on a tray, it instantly makes it look less cluttered. So that is everything that I got from Oliver Bonus. Now on to Anthropology. They actually sent it in three parts, don't know why. So the first one that came in a bag, like so. Oh, I'm gonna send this back. I already know what it is. So you know they have those uh, coasters or placemats, which are like the gemstone with gold foil outer edge. Well, they had one online that said pink, but online it looked white. If it had been white, then I would have kept it. So I thought I'll just test it and order one, but that to me has definitely got a pinky hue to it, which is beautiful, but I just don't have pinks throughout my house. I know a lot of people love pinks and greys, so if you do, these are stunning. I love them so much. I feel like I definitely want to keep my eyes peeled for some white ones. And I feel like if you're going to get them from Anthropology, you need to be in store because you need to actually see. Well, they're all slightly different shades and tones and everything. So maybe a trip to Anthropology is on the cards for that. So what's in this box? 
Oh, I think I know what this one's gonna be. I also didn't realize that Anthropology, I think is owned by Urban Outfitters because the packaging, some of the invoicing or the re returns receipt thing says Urban Outfitters on it. I did pick up this Reed diffuser. I loved the look of it more than anything. This is called Day's Last Light. Lavender cashmere this one is in. I love the natural kind of linen fabric label here on the front and obviously the colour of it as well. And this is the matching, oh yes, love this. It's not just a room spray, it's also a linen spray. So not only can you, oh, I can smell it already. Not only can you spritz it in your room, it's nice to be able to spritz it on your clothes as well. That would be nice to set out in like a guest room, I feel, like the reed diffuser sat next to a little linen and room spray that matches. Cheers. Okay, two things left now. This one I felt like was a must. Anthropology is probably most known for its mugs that they do, the alphabet mugs. I think they brought this one out last year or the year before, I think it was last year, and it reminds me of Manchester. The only thing is, they didn't have a T for Tom, so I got myself an F. I'll keep my eyes peeled for a T maybe, because I think it would be quite cute to have matching. Yet another nice mug. I feel like this one's gonna be like a favorite mug, you know, like on a special occasion. I think they make good gift ideas for friends and family at Christmas time to get a little personalized mug, but especially an anthropology one. And the last item that I got from anthropology, probably one of the things I'm most excited for, if you're a stationery lover, a book lover, especially an aesthetically pleasing book, I love this. It's a little linen, beige and black book called One Line A Day. Fun fact, I've actually had this book in a bright blue and I got a bit bored. I kind of fell out of love with doing the One Line A Day thing and after this year, this whirlwind of a year, I really feel like when 2021 starts, I really want to do this. So this was $14.99. I think I got it in the sale. Maybe that with my Jo Malone candle on top, on top of my gold square tray in a bedroom. Love. I cannot tell you how excited I am to get into the new house and start decorating it. I feel like we've got an exciting few months ahead of us. So all the more reason for you to subscribe if you're not already. I hope you enjoyed this full-on autumn homeware haul. Make sure you are set and ready for the Home Sense and TK Max autumn haul because that is going to be major autumn vibes. I hope you all found a bit of inspiration and maybe some things that you might want to purchase yourself from this video and above all I hope you're all doing really really well. So thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys!